That's the lesson to learn from all this stuff, is that automation is evil. It's extremely evil, it's extremely dangerous, it cheapifies things, and it is extremely dangerous, and it's just, un, I mean, it's just industrialism, the same industrialism that we had in World War One, and in World War Two. It's just further industrialism. So the thing that needs to be understood is that people need to be in charge. Everyday people with a rotating system where everyday people can come in and say and keep a check in the balance uh, on things. Everyday people can come in, whatever, carpenter, musician, whatever, kind of like they have today, jurors, a jury system. The jurors, the point of that is so that the government doesn't make a decision. Uh, jurors come in and they can openly make their decision of what they think. But today, the jury thing is like a very kind of low, low level thing. Like they don't pay much money, just nothing. That needs to be the highest thing, like university level. But I mean, not really the highest thing, like the top people in there, but kind of like, you know, maybe some compensation there. Right. But the compensation should not come from the government, because if the compensation does come from the government, then they're going to do things to say pro government because they want money and they want to be, you know, uh, that's where the money coming from that's what they're going to say pro-government pro government point of view and that's the, that's the point of not the point of what the juror is supposed to be the juror is not supposed to be pointing pro government there the jury system is there to go against the government with actual normal people from the community that are speaking out and saying hey uh-uh no way let that person free or hey no way man you know the guy's a real drug dealer he started shooting and killing people uh-uh i can't just let this guy go you know so that's the jury system is a good example of real people involved in making decisions or, or real people involved uh, and the people have the power not the technology what they what they're pushing for now is that the corporations have the power and the technology has the power so everything is kind of automated that movie shows it perfectly short film is lead presented by dust this shows it perfectly the the technology here has the power you know through the technology through automation um, you know a thing that says oh good morning have a nice day like what if you don't want to have a fucking nice day what if you want to don't want to get up and and, 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 and and be a slave to the system that day it's going to be like oh have a nice day even though like it doesn't give a shit about what's happening with the real people the computer is still going to say oh have a nice day it's you know it's just a computer so the way out of all this mess of bullshit is to decrease the automation. Don't use the computer as far as for shortcuts and stuff. Don't use shortcuts. Okay, be, be aware of the automation. It makes sense. It's a very common theme. Everybody talks about this thing. The robots getting out of control, the Terminator, the Skynet. It's a very, very, very common theme. Will we control the technology or will the technology control us? It's a very, very common theme. Everybody, it's in all the movies. It's in this movie. It's in Terminator. It's in that. It's in all the movies. It's a very, very common theme of, 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 of yeah, theme it means, you know, this is something that the filmmakers, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg and all these guys, James Cameron, they, they, they constantly make movies again and again about this topic. Will the technology take over and control us, or will we just average, free, normal, average people, will we be in charge of the technology if we want to use it, and if we don't want to use it, you, it it's not even visible, we don't use it. And that's what you retains our humanity, if we're the people, we do whatever we want, you know, to be free people, um, and, uh, you know, if the technology is, is, is getting out of control, then it's going to make a decision based upon your life and your life is not going to mean shit to that computer and the computer will go on living and it'll kill you just like that and the computers will go on living like nothing but the movie the matrix is another example of that the matrix so all of these movies um show that stuff constantly and uh, the power you give to corporations are they are the corporations in control now do they see you as an asset to the corporation or do they see you as trouble a troublemaker to the corporation so you give these corporations too much too much power and control Cynet and cyber skynet and cyberdyne systems 
so you know they have too much control they want to the control they want the power that way they can streamline business their employees show up and do exactly what they're doing it's make the company bigger the company is going to grow bigger and recruit more recruits like a whole virus mm -hmm. thing taking over the civilization which is what happens uh, if they have any issues or, or, or lawsuits against them, it'll make the, the corporation smaller and they'll have to answer to the people and stuff. They don't want that. They just want to make money and continue their their thing like a virus that gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Like Google. Around the year 1999, Google was just started. It's like one building or one room. At one point, just one room or a couple rooms of a couple, uh, you know, the creators of Google. And now it's turned into a mega virus everywhere. All kind of facilities and underground facilities and buildings there. And they manufacture hardware that plugs in server hardware. And they manufacture all kind of products that turn into Cyberdyne systems. It's all over the internet. A lot of people know about the Google stuff. Everybody hates. I mean, there's a lot of thousands and thousands. I mean, just limitless amount of people that are talking about Google and fucking blah, blah, blah. And, and all the stuff they're doing, so they're they're trying to keep a good image, you know. They they want to keep a good image. That they're they're real people, and they keep a good image, you know. Then that's fine. It's not really that bad, like a Cyberdyne Systems thing. There's things much worse than Google, as far as nuclear weapons and warfare schemes. That's the bad stuff. Google is pretty good. It's nice guys, nice guys, um, compared to that bad stuff. That bad stuff is the really bad stuff. But there's 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 other little things which are like eh, not that really big deal, which uh, a lot of people are working on too because that could have power over your life as well, power and the technology and the stuff like that. But we're seeing even with the gang stalking, we see that evil crap. Instead of like knocking on our door and talk to us, like these guys use machines. Like oh, it makes a little bing in my phone, bing, and now I'm walking around and stuff like a little robot. Like what the fuck? So the people use the technology instead of connecting with actual human beings like they the value of the human being goes down and the technology empowers these people like little nazis and stuff until every one of their homes and all of the guys are fucking arrested thousands and thousands and their networks are shut down they're investigated and taken out and everything taken out into the guantanamo and everything their whole thing is all exposed to what they do and everything you know stupid if you <laughs> if you connect with people and let them know what the issue is well that's better than getting completely found out and investigated when i think it's too late for these guys they already found out i mean just a million reports not even 10 reports it's like a million reports so um this shit is out of the bag because it's like you know evil stuff you gotta connect with people on a human level ask them what it is or you know connect with people on a human level okay the, the technology has to be like psh, like nothing you know but there's a lot of automation out there a lot of cars going great distances all kind of stuff and it, um you know the, the technology makes life easier for people but if you let that take away your humanity you let it take away your humanity that's it you have to have the the power of the human mind and human consciousness, a human uh, ideas, a human creativity, and the human life value of human life it has to be uh, taking taken more more importantly than uh, profits, more importantly than uh, you know kind of uh, you know abusing people in slave conditions. There's plenty of people who would like to do good work and, and can do good work, but it doesn't mean you have to enslave everybody.